Hey Game Dogs, welcome back to another G Developer tutorial. So today I will be showing you how to create a rider game in G Develop 5. So some days ago someone requested this as um, a tutorial and as soon as I saw this I went online because I had no idea what a rider game looked like. So once I went online I played some games and they were similar to this. So let's have a preview of what this of what we will be creating today. So here we go, this is what um the game looks like. Um well the main point of the game is to prevent flipping over. So it's like game over once your bike um flips over and it kind of searches the back search for the scanty mountains. Um, I kind of made this in Photoshop, so it's a little bit weird. Okay, so let's close that. Um, just open my project. Here we go. Okay, so first of all, I added my rider object, which was the bike. I open this um behavior. So I give this physics behavior. Um, bullets check in can sleep um that's all checked and it goes into default okay so then i added new objects which sorry about that that's supposed to be the road um rename that road one road one okay so this does not have a behavior because you can give this a behavior um that's because it's actually um, a square so you have to create a new object or you have to create an object and give it a behavior then you have to fill it all the way this way and to get this so that's what I did um okay so same here I just added my new object which would be the road to um, apply that and the road three so this is the three roads in the original game that are uh, are uh, multiple they like mountains and you just have to keep on riding so my new object for which is my collision object collision and I get this behavior of a physics behavior so it's a static type the rider is a dynamic um type of physics so the static prevents it from falling and it goes with the can sleep check okay so apply now let's go to my fence Okay, so first of all, let's add an empty fence. Um, now we need to set up our camera on rider. So rider, sorry about that. So rider. Um, here we go. Let's objects. Um, let's go with the camera. Okay, so set the camera on an object. Sorry about that. So the object would be rider. Okay. Now add an action. Um, let's change the zoom. So change the camera zoom. I'll just change this to 0 0.1. Okay. So now we need to add in our controls, which would be I would be using the space key for this. So add a condition. Um key pressed space key. So once the space key is pressed. Um, add a condition and the velocity, which would be our rider. So the rider's velocity, which would be the linear velocity x, is we've set a limit, so it has to be less than um a hundred thousand. Okay, that's a hundred thousand. Here we go. Now add an action. Um, change the linear. Rider linear velocity on the x axis, so set to sorry, we need to add that which would be um, we need to add 50 to it. Okay, now add an action, um, add a condition. So let's change the rider angular velocity, angular velocity of rider. Um, let's subtract one. So this is to flip all um, this vent right here is expected to flip our bike over once the um, space key is pressed so that's what makes the game challenging okay so I'll add a subcondition and pull this into 
the um, subcondition and let's set a limit to that so right up angular velocity there we go um is less than base compared to so there we go that's all the events um we can choose to um go through this event and try to add some values you know just try some random values to get a better um movement of the game okay so there we go um that's how it works um sorry we forgot one thing um let's take out the hitbox which would be add an action on um, height sorry about that collision let's hide the visibility of that okay so preview so there we go that's how it's done that's how to create a rise game and G develop 5 I'm not so good at this game okay thanks for watching